Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a quick unboxing here for you. This is an unboxing of the Pet Cemetery, the 2009 version Pet Cemetery, a steelbook, limited edition steelbook, 4K and Blu-ray. Um, I think it doesn't say, but I'm assuming it's both Blu-ray and, and uh, 4K, right? Yeah, disc one, disc two, with an alternate ending. And over 90 minutes of bonus features. I saw this film in the theater um, a week or so after it came out. And I'll be upfront in saying, too, that I'm not a huge fan of the first film. I think it's a fine film. It's got good atmosphere and some, you know, questionable acting from children. But, um, which, if there's one thing I'll say about this film, <coughs> excuse me, is that, um, the child actors were actually not that bad. I thought so. Anyway. In my personal opinion, I thought they did just fine. But, uh, the movie itself is, uh... It's just okay, I would say. I, I enjoy it. It's fine. I really like the look of the steelbook, which is why I, I bought it. But uh, how does this look? Pet Cemetery. That's okay. I thought um, Tom Lithgow did great, I thought, in his role. Um, Jason Clark, is that his name? Did okay. The mom, whose name I don't ever remember. Amy Seamitz. And... Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just, it was an okay adaptation, I thought. It was unnecessary. They did kind of a gender swap with the... The whole thing. Which, if you saw trailers, I guess you saw that. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I really only bought it because I thought this was a cool design. And I I, 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 I like the movie enough where I wanted to have it again because I wanted to see it again. But, um, I probably guess, I guess I could have rented it. But, you know. If there's a steel book and it's even remotely okay looking, I'm going to probably buy it. So, hold on while I get this coat out. It's Paramount, so it's advertising some Paramount releases on the back here. And there's the original Pet Cemetery. Which, I think I do have a digital copy of that that I haven't checked out yet, but... And here's the disc for the 4K. Just plain black, which is typical. And then blue for Blu-ray. And there's, I think that's the original poster artwork with the girl there and the, the little children with their masks going out to bury their pets. That's the Pet cemetery. It's got a nice shine to it. It's a very similar color red to that Evil Dead steelbook from um, several years ago. I'm down with it. Um, <clears throat> let's look at the special features, I suppose. I guess I kind of glanced at them, but... Um, disc 1 is a 4K feature film, UHD, and it's, what else does it have? It has... Uh, well, that's it, actually. I thought there was something else here, but it's just the 4K stuff that you're talking about. All the special features are on the second disc, which is the Blu-ray. Alternate ending, 7 deleted extended scenes, night terrors, family haunting visions, and then, just like I said, over 90 minutes... A bonus content. I assume most of that is deleted scenes and stuff. But um, anyway. Digital movie included. Watch anywhere. So it's, it's movies anywhere, I, be I believe. But, um, you know. 100 minutes, 2019. Yeah, I, I don't recall how well this did in theaters. I think it did fine. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I um, Like I said, I, I it was fine. I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to checking it out again. I saw it, like I said, back in, t in April, I think. Yeah, I think it was April. But, um, you know, a lot of people did not like it. I saw I was getting a lot of vitriol online, which I understand, but, um, you know, I thought it was, it was okay. Like I said, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the first film, of the original film from 80, whatever the hell, I'm not sure. Or 90? I don't know. I thought it was the 80s. Anyway, I have nothing else to say about it. Like I said, I got the, I like the steelbook. I love the red and black contrast. I thought the cat was creepy as shit, just like in the first film, though, so. So, yeah. I got nothing else to say about it, I guess. Um, I don't expect this to be flying off the shelf at Best Buy, but I, I've always been wrong about this stuff. Whenever I think it's not going to sell out, it sells out immediately. And whenever I buy a movie I don't want because I think it's going to sell out, it, it's still there like a month later, so I, I don't listen to me, I guess. But I, I have a feeling it won't sell out, but that probably means it will, so maybe you should if you want to get it. Go ahead and pre-order it. If you, if I, I, my, my advice is always that if you're interested at all, just pre-order it, and you can always return it later if you don't want it. So, that's it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you again later with more Steelbooks and horror and whatever else I find. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.